object to my asking? No, you that? say that. Okay. I'm an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, born on September the 11th, 1904. Oh, you're not an old man. You're not as old as my mother. <laughs> no. She was born in 02. <laughs> Is that right? Is where, that... where were you born, Mr. Wallace? Born uh, in Fulton, Maryland. Oh, you were born in Fulton? Yes, ma'am. Your family lived I was nine there. months old when we moved over on Cedar Lane, the friend of Cedar Lane here. And the farm that you lived on on Cedar Lane was the... Um, it's the farm that's right. Kaler Farm, or? Oh, well, it, uh, the farm I lived on wasn't the Kaler Farm until after I lost my mother, and then Kaler bought it. Kaler, but Kaler owned the farm right in the back of it. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I see. He kept for a little while, but he couldn't couldn't get help. He had diabetes and lost his leg, and uh, so he just sold it. And who who did your father buy it from? Do you know who uh, owned it? Batch. Somebody by the name of Batch. Now, I don't know any more than that, but I know it was the old Batch farm. And that was about 1905. That, well, that would have been, yeah, yeah, because I was nine months old when we moved there. And then when did your mother die? What year? My mother was 52 years old when she died. And, uh. I tell you, Elwood was a little boy. And the Elwood is a. See how old was. <laughs> <laughs> was just a little, what, was he here? I know you picked him up and held him up to the. Held him, your mother in the coffin, don't you know? So that would have been in the 20s then, maybe? Yeah. Well, well we were. He was 57, 56 or 57. A little older, he's 60 up, I'd say. Three years, three months, different thing. And I guess uh, your mother didn't, you don't have to track that back. <laughs> right, it uh, would have been the late 20s then. Yeah, yeah. And well, then your father well, sold the farm to Mr. Kayla. To Will Kayla. Okay. Uh -huh. and, uh, and the Will Kayla owned the farm right in the back of it and had an outlet through at the edge of our farm, and which was uh, a godsend to him. I mean, they put him out on the roof. And, uh, and then were the Basslers the across Basslers from you? The were on the opposite side of the road. They, they were over on, in other words, where the hospital sitting. Yes. That was Bassler Farm. Were they there when you, when your father owned yeah. uh -huh. your farm? Yeah. The Basslers lived? We used to go out and steal watermelons. <laughs> 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 you didn't tell them, of course. They never learned that, huh? <laughs> uh, we, well, my brother and I went out one day and got two great big watermelons that come out and went up the side of a real fence and sat down to eat them. <laughs> and they were they were cutting corn. I never will forget this. <laughs> and they come right straight out on top of us. We were sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did they pick corn in those days? They did was they have? Good. They cut it off with a corn cutter. Oh, by shocked hand. It and shocked and then they shucked it. Yeah, so it was all didn't by hand. Have, <laughs> didn't have equipment they got now. No. Yep. Well, now the house that you lived in, uh, did it's Mr. Torn down now. Did Mr. Kaler live there ever, or did he have a tenant? No, he there? never moved out there. Yeah. Or did he never moved out there? Did he? No. No, he stayed back in the house he had in the back of it. I guess he rented it out to someone. Yeah, he had it rented out to people that was employed, uh -huh. and then he shipped milk. They had a, we had a dairy farm. You had farm. a dairy? Yeah. Dairy uh -huh. farm? Yep. Did Mr. Kaler have a dairy? Yeah, he had a dairy farm in the back, and then also he, when he bought our farm, he moved all the dairy farm out here and did up and shipped all the milk from out front. Yeah. Um, well, then, where did you go to school? Uh, Little school up at Elioke. Oh, did you go there? Uh -huh. At Elioke. And that's still a house, isn't that's it? That's a house now, but right. where I started was over top of the old Elioke store. Is that gone? That's gone. That's been torn down. That belonged to Miss Lizzie and Susan Lumpen. And where did it sit in relation to Manor Lane? Uh, <coughs> when you come out Manor Lane, right on the corner of Columbia Pike, there's one stone house. Yes. And then you come, then was the store and the school. The school was up on second floor. Going toward Ellicott City? Toward Ellicott City. Was all you left. It was next door, next to that stone house. Yeah, Miss Miss Lizzie Lunscombe and Miss Anna Lunscombe and Miss Susan Lunscombe, three ladies. And they ran the they store. They lived in the they lived in the in the uh, stone house, uh -huh. and 
Miss Lizzie was school teacher and she oh, taught the school. And it was on the second floor over the top of the store. Uh, the school was? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Yeah. Um, and where was the post office then? Uh, post office was... It was in the store. Then oh, it was in it? that store, yes. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. then, did they build the, the newer store across the road? In the, I mean, the newer school? Then the newer school, down, down, which is down about 300 yards farther, down toward where... Um, where the veterinarian is there. He's yes, Dr. Almost, Lewis. Yeah, Dr. Lewis, almost yeah. down to him. Yeah. And that's still there. That's still now there. You, but you didn't go there to school. I went or, there to school. Well, you the did. education that I got. I got there. And the funny part of it is, when they, 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 um, uh, parents were all trying to get a new school, and the, the, um, school boy said they didn't have the money, didn't have the money. And finally, they agreed if they, if all the uh, parents would haul up a stone and dig the basement and put the footing in, wall in, then they would put the building up on it. Is that and right? I helped to haul stones on nothing but a kid, but I helped to haul stones, put in the footing, and then went to school to it. <laughs> and what year would that have been then? Oh, my Lord. How, how far did you go to school? Seventh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. And then you would have been uh, 10, 11, 12, probably 12 or 13. 13, yeah. And, and so that would, and you were born in 05, so that would have been 1920, no. Um, you were born in 5, and you would have been about 1917, 18? Somewhere in there, yes. Right at the end of World War I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, there. that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's as far as you went to school? Yes, ma'am. If you had wanted to go to high school, you'd have had gone to Ellicott City? Or Clarksville. Was there a Clarksville High Clarksville, School then? I, no, 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 I'm wrong. There wasn't one there. No. But it wasn't long after that that right. they did, because my brother went there. About 1925, I think. Uh, somewhere <coughs> in there. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My um, brother went there to Clarksville. Do you remember when um, Owen Brown was the postmaster over? Yeah. yeah. At Elio, oh, yeah, yeah. do you? Oh, yeah. You remember Owen Brown? Yes, ma'am. Well, and he lived down here on Cedar on, Lane. On Owen Brown Road. Yes, I mean on Owen yeah, Brown. That's right. And his house is still there. Still there. It's up for sale right now. Um, were you surprised when they named all these things for Mr. Brown? Was that? No, no. Uh, I'm, I was surprised at a lot of things they named. <laughs> 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 I can tell you that. <laughs> Where in the world they come up with all the names they, they've come up with? I, I guess they got reasons for it, but I uh, don't make sense to me. Did you call Cedar Lane Cedar Lane? Yes, ma'am. That's been Cedar Lane ever since. Ever since you were a boy. Yeah, since I moved there, yes. And it just was a farm road that went farm out road. to um, Columbia 108, Pike. Columbia Pike. 108 is now. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And we walked it. From there out to the over to school. Open school, right? And it was a uh, the new school was that a two room schoolhouse? No, man, one room. That was one room with a basement under. And did the Lithicums teach there too? No, the no, school? Miss. Uh, I don't know, Mrs. She was uh, Ryan, married a Whips, Miss Anna Ryan, and she married. Uh, Edgar, Edgar Whips. Okay, now let me ask you something else. Um, on down here, we're at the middle of Patuxent, at the river, at the end of Cedar Lane, uh, where the ruins are to the old mill. Yeah, uh-huh. Did you ever go down there as a boy? Yes, ma'am, many times. But, there used to be a grocery store there, too. Okay, uh, when you were a boy then, there was still a little community. Yes, ma'am. And they had a she post office? She made a the other day. Uh, I see she used to live right in this first house as you were out of here. Okay. And uh, it's when you grew up then, right I here on... I was there, I think I was like 14 when my father bought that farm. And I was right, we were married, we were married, I was married there. At the house? Yes. I gave the, I come in here? Yes. Do you know the house thing? No, I didn't look at it, but I... Uh, I'll look at it when yeah. I go out. As you go out, it's on. It, if you turn right, be the first place on the right. That's, that's where where she grew. Did you call yes. it Simpsonville down there? Simpsonville, yes, ma'am. And uh, was the mill in operation? Operation. They were ground, ground, 
uh, cracked corn and the ground flour and they made bran and then the fall of the year they had a cider mill and a fresh cider. Were there more buildings down there than there are now? Uh, uh, as far as I know there wasn't any more. Uh, there was one building right back of the store. Used to be a road went right up right beside the mill. Uh -huh. And then you made a left turn and the store was on your right. And then you went back a little farther back and there was people by the name of Salmonig lived there. Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, uh, I don't know whether that house is still there or not. I don't think so. But did you cross the river in a different place? Yes, ma'am. Up the you, river? You, you oh, were uh, up the river. You went across up by uh, the, the road. You to, instead of coming down and passing the mill, there was a road that cut across behind the store and come on down and then cross the river. Did you ever hear that there was a bigger house down here? on the corner uh, that burned uh, at Cedar Lane and 30, Old 32 Guilford Road. Uh, there's a white frame house that sits on the corner. There's a little spring house. Before you... Uh, Let me get my... Uh, the one at uh, 32 and... And Guilford uh, and Cedar Lane. Cedar Lane. <coughs> there's a, a white house that has a little spring house sitting there. Oh, the oh, oh, that's where Mr. John Hargahart lived, the man that run the store there at Simpsonville. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's did just this side of the mill there. Yeah. Uh huh. Did you ever hear talk that there had been a bigger house that burned there that I never belonged did. to the Simpsons? No, I never did. I talked to Miss Simpson uh, a few years ago, and she told me that when she was a baby, yeah. the house burned. That Could was have there. Been, that been ahead of my time. That, yes, that was yeah. in the 1890s or uh -huh. so. And I didn't know whether people talked mm -hmm. about that. There was a post office at Simpsonville when you were growing up. Is that where you got your mail? No, or no, our mail comes from Elio. Mm -hmm. Did you have to go get it or did uh, they deliver No, it was delivered down Cedar Lane. Uh, delivered down Cedar Lane. And then, it's very right funny, uh, her sister and brother uh, in law lived just this side of, um, well, it's on the left-hand side, right after you go through a little strip of woods here going up Cedar Lane. And uh, he, he, in the period of time he lived there, when he first moved there, his post office was really old. Oh. Then they reversed it, and uh, they didn't have the post, uh, post office in Simpsonville, but they put one over in Appleton and called it Simpsonville Post Office. <laughs> Right. And they reversed it, and then he lived in Simpsonville. His mail come up to Cedar Lane instead of coming down. Uh, he uh, lived there uh, quite, a, I don't know how many years, a few, and they changed it, and the mail come from Clarksville down Cedar Lane, so he was in Clarksville. He didn't move uh, at all, right? And, <laughs> and never moved. Moved. <laughs> and then it changed. Then it, then it, then Our it. Our mail was Clarksville for a while. Yeah, then. yeah. Then, then he um, uh, was changed, and the mail come from Ellicott City. Oh. He was five different places while I lived there, never moved. And that was up here on Cedar Lane. Yes, ma'am. Right, right uh, before you get up to the hospital on the left hand side. Oh, my. <coughs> <coughs> uh, as you go up Cedar Lane, there's a stop and go light bef yes. before you get up to the hospital, and if you turn right, you'd be on Hickory Ridge. Yes. Hickory Ridge. Right. Mm -hmm. right, just this side of that road is a brick house on the left-hand side. And that's where he lived when that, he No, lived that's where uh, where Will Kayla's wife lives now, the Kayla oh, that I bought see. our farm. I see. She built that and lives there. And the next house down is where Bill Moore lived, her brother-in-law and sister. I see. <coughs> um, uh, let me ask you about um, when you lived at Oakland Mills. Uh, uh -huh. Was it called Oakland Mills? Was that the school? That was called Oakland Mills. And there was uh, the little white house there where the Whips blacksmith shop yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. And then the two little stone houses. And the two little stone houses. But that one of the stone houses now is a great big. They've been man. added on to. Yeah. What, when you lived there, were they white people or black people that lived in the stone black houses? Black people. How about in the white house, the little uh, Whips? They were Whips, white. They were white people. Yeah. Right. And then, um, how, were there any other houses along there? You and the whips and the two little stone houses? It, it used to be two little stone houses and one little wooden frame house. And the frame house was torn down 
when the people built rebuilt onto the stone house next to Whips. Uh, they tore their little frame house down. Was that a white or black family? Black. It was all black. So it was mainly a little black community right. when, Teresa, you, yeah. when you lived there. Yeah, with William yeah. Thomas and uh, oh, Thomas. Oh, yeah. Thomas and then uh, Joshua Hammond and the, nice old and the third one, I forget what his name was. Oh, Jones, John Jones. There was a John Jones and a William Thomas and Joshua Hammond that lived in those three houses. Had they lived there like... Uh, had they grown up there? Were there families uh, from there? Didn't they all the avenue? I, as long as I remember. They were old people when you moved yes, in there? Yes, ma'am. All of them were. And mm -hmm. then when they died, uh, did black people move in no, there? No, that, that's when the white people bought, the, Mr. Gales, Timothy Gales bought the stone, one of the stone houses and tore down the wooden frame one and built a big end on to it. There. And then the Gales that, Lane is on down? That's farther down. That's where one of his sons built in there, Mr. Gale. Mr. Gale passed away a year or so ago. Um, he was running an antique shop or something in there in that big house. I, in the stone, one of the stone so, Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Gale had a big house. When he first came there, he didn't move in that house. No, when he first come around here, he, he was over on the opposite side of the of 29. There was a house over there? That's, uh, that's not right, right on back, way back somewhere else. I, I forget now really what house he was in wasn't Oakland Manor. No, ma'am. No. When when you were living at Oakland Mills, was there any sign of the old mill on the other side of the road? No, any ruins? No, ma'am. Only thing over there was a just a, a hollowed out place like an old mill race used the to mill go race. down there. Okay. Yeah. But there was nothing. Nothing no, there. No, no bricks sign. or nothing. No, ma'am. Nobody ever. You never heard anybody talk about Oakland Mills. Oh, you? I heard them talk about it, but uh, there's no sign of any building or anything there. Now, like your father, he hadn't ever used Oakland Mills no, because no, it was no, gone. No, no, no. He was over on Cedar Lane, see over on the other side. Well, where would you take your grain in Delicate City? No, we or you had you had dairy cows. I, oh, we had dairy cows. So you didn't. We had, they, they, up there when they had the dairy cows. Uh, there was a man come in the ground to feed right there. Oh, he did? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Come in with a big truck. See. Well, you turn around twice, he's grounded and gone. I see. Um, then when you bought Oakland Mills, it was no longer a school, the house there? No, ma'am. It had been closed for a couple of years. And uh -huh. you bought it because you wanted to live so there? I, wanted a, I was trying looking for a cheap home. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. And you bought it from the county commissioners? I bought it. Uh, actually, uh, it was from the county commissioners, but I killed Mr. Kale Rogers had the sale of it. I see. I bought it from him. He was a, an attorney? Uh, he was a um, real estate broker. Oh, I yeah. see. Caleb Rogers. And then what kind of work were you doing at that time? At time, that time, I was driving a truck for Hyde County Road Department. And your father also? He was a road on? superintendent, he, yes. And what period of time was that in that he was the road superintendent? Well, when I got married, I was 25, I was driving my truck, and I drove it for, between that and with a road gang. I had first one thing and then the other. I, uh, it was just about 15 years or something like that I was with the road department. Until just before World War II or so. Yes. Mm -hmm. And was your father living and working on the road? No, that no. Time? My father, uh, I guess about... I guess I worked for the new man maybe three years or something like that. Well, they they uh, see his job was appointment. Yes. And then if you uh, if you was in the right politics, you uh, you appointed again. If right. you wasn't, if wasn't in the right politics, you was on the other side. <laughs> and that's what happened to him. He, he was, uh, but you politics. you stayed on. I stayed on for about three more years, and uh, the county had a big car and burn up all the equipment. Everything. Where was that? That was at Elio. They had a building up there on, uh, where it's a beer tavern sitting there now, right right at... Uh, on the pike there? After you passed Beaverbrook, going up the pike, okay. on the left-hand side, there's a beer tavern. And on the, the right hand? On the left-hand side, going up. Going toward Clarksville? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. And uh, uh, right beside of that, the county had a building there that would keep 
four or five trucks in it and all the equipment, pick shovels, my everything in that building. And uh, uh, we went to work for long car one morning and we'd come back that evening and didn't have a thing in the world but the truck that was in. And burn up, everything burned up. And the uh, boss man said they didn't have any money to start over right then. It, then it was about a week before Christmas. It was almost Christmas. So he said we were just going to have to lay off. So they laid off and uh, that was right in the depression. There was no jobs any place to get, mm. tell you that. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I didn't leave a stone unturned. And I had a, the, uh, the payments on the open schoolhouse and I had the wife and two children and they had to eat. And, That's uh, right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, I, I waited around for the county to start up something and and uh, at that time, Billy Owens and Mr. Ed Clark was in business together. It was Clark and Owens. At the hardware store. At the hardware uh -huh. store down at the depot yard. Yes, uh-huh. I went down there one day, and uh, I said, uh, I mean, I've known Billy for years. And I said, Mr. Billy, i got to have a job. He said, well, like, I haven't got any job for you. I remember him sitting <laughs> <laughs> place with you. <laughs> and, uh, I, I said, I'm out of work, and uh, I said, I, I got the And he said, uh, I can give you three days on coal truck. I said, well, that's a job. And uh, so I worked the three days. When the third day was up, I didn't let Billy see me. I was back there the fourth day. And, <laughs> and, and I stayed there. I, I stayed there, but uh, I only worked on the tr coal truck for probably the rest of that winter, I guess. And then farm machinery started, and I took over the farm machinery end of it, and then mechanic, and worked on that. And then with the, with the, Clark and Owens? With Clark and Owens. Delivered it and set it up and demonstrated it and, and worked with that. And I was there almost 11 years. And they was, it must have had Clark and Billy was getting ready to separate. They were one, one, one way and one the other. And uh, I didn't hardly know where to go. So, uh, I uh, went over to Dunlop. Oh. And uh -huh. the machine shop. Right. And uh, wife said it's the only time that I ever said we'd been married and she knew when I was going to be home for dinner. It's Had regular <laughs> hours, huh? <laughs> yeah. And uh, we... Uh, what, what year was that then that you went over there? These, I can't remember these years, man. Uh, it's, uh, now, did you work with the state roads up till 1940? I mean, county roads till 1940? I worked with the county roads up until uh, I started driving a truck for the county uh, in March, and I wasn't 16 years old to get my license till the following September. That was 1920 then. But but you went along uh, with the um, with the. Um, uh, with with uh, license in, you didn't have no problem. Right. And then I finally I got my license, and I was with the county just about uh, somewhere around 15, 16 years in there. And then you worked um, in the early 30s when the depression was coming out. That's when you worked with Mr. Owens and Mr. Clark. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. And then after that, in the late 30s, you went to Donut I went to the Donut, and uh -huh. uh, and uh, I got along fine there, but I didn't. I've never worked all cooked up before, and uh, they did some things I didn't like. If you was an old man there, or uh, any age, you could do anything, and if you was a new man, you had to walk the chalk line, and I, I didn't think it was fair, so I just, I went to them one day and gave my notice and went quick. And uh, they uh, wondered what was wrong, and my boss did, my foreman was old man, I told him. And uh, so the next thing I know, I was called up to the main office. Okay, and he wanted to know what it was all about. Uh -huh. And uh, I told him uh, just how I felt. And, uh, well, he said, uh, uh, at that time, you was froze to your job. He said, suppose I won't give you a release. He said, you know, uh, you're working on government work. And he said, uh, it's, uh, you froze to your job. I said, I'll come here without a release, and I'll leave without one. And uh, he said, no, I'll give you one. And uh, so I left, come on out, and then come up the street. And I think she asked me to stop and get a loaf of bread. 
because I went in Francis Market, it used to be down there on Main Street. Uh, and they were, they owned the place that Ray Dawn uh, okay. was running yeah. for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Ray worked for them. And uh, <coughs> I went went uh, in to get the loaf of bread and met Mr. Frank Curtis. And he said, uh, I haven't seen you since you left down the store. What are you doing? I said, I'm unemployed. And he said, I, he said, what do you mean? I, he, I said, I went over to Donut, but I don't like some things they do. And, and I wasn't happy, and I'm not going to stay. And he said, what are you going to do? I said, I have no idea. I said, I just told you I'm unemployed. <laughs> and and uh, so we talked a few minutes, and I went on uh, home. And I got home. Wife said, uh, Mary Petticoat called him and wants to talk to you. And uh, said, you call him as soon as you got here. So I called him up and he said, uh, uh, is what I just heard about you true? I said, I don't know. You have heard a lot of things about me. <laughs> and uh, he said, uh, you unemployed? I said, yeah. He says, come down here. I want to talk to you. So I went down and went to work for him. And what was what business was he in then? He had a hardware store and a, a appliance store and paint, anything, you name it, we had it. Where was that? That was on the main street, right where, wait, let me get, right where um, Ferdinand was running the lunchroom, that burned down. Yeah. Right, we, that, we, was we, that was Petticord's. That was Petticord's hardware and the appliance store. And you and stayed there then? For I stayed there for 11 years, uh -huh. and then he decided he was going to Florida. He wasn't going to stay up here, and uh, he started just closing out everything. So next thing I know, I was looking for a job. For another job? <laughs> yeah. I was there 11 years. And, uh, and, um, That was in the 50s then, wasn't it, that he, yeah, he closed yeah. that? Mm -hmm. And, uh, Mrs. Kirk was working down to Taylor's. And she lived in the brown shingle house on Woodrow Street there, right beside of where I live. Oh, in fact, okay. I sold her the brown shingle house. And uh, uh, she come home one evening and said, Mr. Phillips said, if you haven't got a job, he'd like to talk to you. So I went down and I hired to him. I told him I was going to work 10 years, then I was going to retire. <laughs> and when the 10 years was up, he said, oh, you're in good health and everybody's happy. Don't talk about quitting. <laughs> and uh, so I said, I'll work another year. And so I worked another year, another year. And for the next thing I know, was that 30 years. Yes, oh my heavens. <laughs> that was a long 10 years. Long 10 years, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when there was the fire in Ellicott City that burned out where Taylor's is? Wasn't there a fire that yeah, burned? Yeah, yeah. That I, I don't remember. That was a hit. I mean, I should remember it, but I wasn't connected there at the time. You didn't go into Ellicott City that much. Right? Not, not that, at that time, no. It was probably about the time you got married, sometime in the 20s. That, that's right. Yeah, because Mr. Ike Taylor rebuilt after the fire, right. and uh, it was probably just about that time. And it was a pretty bad one. It yes, took it out a lot of buildings along so there. That, it was a large fire. Let me ask you whether the name Hilton means anything to you. Uh, Mr. Ed Hilton? No, it was a community along the Columbia Road coming out of Ellicott City, uh, where Mr. Witzke's uh, funeral home is, um, and the Shell gas station, uh, Amico gas station. Do you remember what it looked like before 29 was cut, you know, new 29 came through? Yeah. Uh, roughly on the on the uh if you was uh uh was going down the clump old clumpy pike and made a turn right on montgomery road mm -hmm. right on the left hand side was a two-story white house there mr titsworth lived in was it a frame house frame house okay and he lived in that that's where the shell station is now the uh, uh somewhere. Yeah, yeah, right where the Shell Station is, that's correct. And they tore that down? They tore that down and uh, built that Shell Station there and diagonally across, or straight across in front of it was a uh, brown shingled house and that's where Kenny Riding lived. Okay, and now then the Riding Liquor Store was... They never had a liquor store there, they had a beer joint but no liquor. Okay, uh, that was 
That was on the opposite side. Right. Yeah. That's right, on okay. the opposite side of the road that comes from New 29 in there. Yeah. 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 And then they closed that when mm -hmm. we came out in the 60s. They, State Highway made them close it or something because they bought yeah, it right away mm -hmm. through there. Okay, so there was a, a brown house where the, that closed up gas station is. Uh, matter of fact, it would be right almost joining into the edge of, uh, of uh, what's the, the funeral home now on that, see it be on that same side. Oh, it was on the other side of Columbia Pike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I was thinking it was on the other side of Montgomery Road. No, 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 Tetsworth's okay. was on the other side of Montgomery Road, on the left-hand side of Montgomery Road. If you was going toward Elkridge, on the left-hand side Sorry. would have been Tetsworth's. Okay. Now, when, was there a blacksmith shop in there at all that you can remember? There was a blacksmith shop, uh, never operated in my time, but all, it would have been almost across in front of, of, um, Whiskers, Colonel Home there, and it would have been on, if, if you'd come out Montgomery Road, turn right and start Delicate City, it would have been on your right hand side. It was a uh, old, old, real old home there, and they used to do some blacksmith work. I don't know how much he ever did. Did they you tear know? that house down? House is all torn down. Peyton Patterson lived there for years. Patterson? Yes, ma'am. Colored fella. Peyton Patterson. Okay, there was, on the old maps, there was the name of Ray, R-A-Y, Gustav Ray, sure. and Davis uh, in there, and that area was called Hilton. You never no, heard it no, called Hilton? No. Did anybody call it Helltown? Did they ever? That used to be Fulton, that's what you used to call Helltown. Okay, did you ever hear of that area along Columbia Road being called Helltown? No, I can't say that I have. Okay, you probably were just that much further uh -huh. away from it mm -hmm. that you didn't... Uh, the old records talk about it being Hilton and Helltown. Is that right? But I figured there had to have been some old houses that were torn down. There was two old houses in there. There's a Peyton Patterson lived in one of them, and this old shop part was there, and a part of a house on to the end of that. But I don't know who lived in that. I don't really know. Right, okay, and... Um, and then between those two old houses and the Titchworth house was Emil Clashes. Is that the stone house that that is standing there? You know, there's an old stone house. No, no, Still. no, that's, that's where Betty Eckloff Bet lives. Betty, Betty Chambers. Chambers, yeah. Right, yeah. okay. That, no, that was always there, That has been there ever since I can remember. Right, that's yeah. about the oldest house left along there. Along there. That's, that's correct, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but then when you came from uh, along the Columbia Pike and you turned at Bloom's Corner and you followed the Columbia Road into Ellicott City, that's the way you came that's the way into Ellicott, Ellicott City. City. Yes, and when you lived at Oakland Mills, you came down uh, what was called Old, Columbia, Old Columbia Road. Old Columbia yeah. Road. Uh -huh. And that was a dirt road? That was a dirt road for years. Ask her how much dust we used to get. <laughs> <laughs> Now, but you couldn't go all the way down to Washington D.C. down the Columbia Road, then, could you? Because it didn't go. Uh, I, I don't know what it wound up to be when you before you got into Washington, but uh, there was some means of a straight travel in there because people used to come out here from Washington with their horse and buggies and and stay on a. But they came out um, through Ashton and Sandy Spring, didn't they? Out. No, they used to come out that way because, because uh, up here, oh, wait a minute, let me get my squares away. Uh, where Miss Annie Ryan we're talking about, Annie Whips, the school teacher, okay. where she uh, was raised is on the corner of Owen Brown Road uh -huh. and the old Columbia piece, a little short piece of road in mm -hmm. there, all right, just as you went in off of... Uh, of what would be Owen Brown Road now, and you'd make a dip down right there on the left-hand side. And that's where a lady by the name of Baldwin, Mrs. Baldwin lived there. And she used to take in people who come from Washington over here and horse and buggies and things and keep them overnight and feed oh, the horse. Right? And uh, so to tell me, that was a little ahead of my time, but, uh -huh. but that's what they say. But then the state put the road through and hard surfaced it. Yeah in the 50s or so, or late 40s, when... I don't remember how long it has been now, it's been quite a while, yeah. Right. 
and uh, they extended it on down then to Burtonsville. And That's right, Burtonsville. But if you ever there. went to Washington, did you ever go to Washington? Oh, not often. Got lost every time I went. Really couldn't find a <laughs> way back. How did you go? Did you go down I Route 1? I went 29. No, I did you? 29. Down the dirt road? or? Oh, no, uh, I never went to Washington back in those back days. Back in those days. But after yeah. 29 was built, I yes. used to go in and then get on the belt way and go around where <laughs> I wanted to go. Right. Yeah. Uh, Today it's even worse. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know it's so. You, uh. Train used to go right through Washington. It, it still, still does. Now. Yeah, it goes straight through Washington now. Yep. Um, so, and now you you grew up on Cedar Lane. Uh huh. Did you go to school at Elio? No, I went to school, uh, Pendle School. Oh, did you? Uh -huh. And did you go beyond the seventh grade? Did yeah, I went to the seventh grade. Seventh grade. You didn't go to high school. Yeah, well, I didn't go to high school. And after you stopped going to school in seventh grade, what did you do? Did you work on the your parents? I did stayed you, home until until you got married. Until I got married. You you didn't work for people. No, I didn't she was a cook. Oh, I see. He's one of the girls out of job. We worked, but we worked on a farm a lot because of we. Four of us girls, and we didn't have any brothers. We helped them. You did. Oh, uh, you had a farm here too on Cedar. This, this, where's this house out here where she lived? That it it has a big farm in there. Oh, I yes, see. But, uh, yeah. Is that developed now? Oh yeah, two thirds of it. Is that Rayburn? Is that Rayburn? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But your father did he have dairy cattle too? No. no. He used to raise some beef cattle. Oh, I see. Oh, beef cattle. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we just raised. He raised beef cattle, huh? Yeah, he did too. Yeah, I don't mean a whole lot. We milked for our own use. Yeah, you had milk for your own use. Did you uh, have uh, corn? Yeah. Uh, grow fields of corn? Corn and uh, and uh, hay and uh, and then they used to uh, grow strawberries, a lot of strawberries. They used to do a lot of truck farming, like yeah. cabbage and things like that for market and so you it was generally like your friends generally went through seventh grade and that was the most education that right. that's right that was that in time the farm children got uh, that's had what, that's all they got yes ma'am uh, i've got a sister that's 18 years younger than we, we are i mean the four of us girls she came along later and uh, she said home too Eighteen years younger than I am. Now she went to high school. Oh, she did. She went to Clarksville. Clarksville from living right here. From right here. She from living right, right here. here. Mm -hmm. Now, how would she have gotten to Clarksville? By did they have a bus or the she first went, year or two? She rode with your brother for a while. Then she she first year or two, she rode with my brother. And then there was a bus out there. And then they put a bus on. I see. And the bus come right by her door, and. Uh, and, and picked her up and went on up uh, Cedar Lane and I picked up and picked them up as it went by. When you worked on the roads, were almost all the roads dirt? All dirt. All dirt yes, out here. And what was when your I job? First, when I first started on the road, we didn't have any any blacktop roads at all. They were all dirt. Yeah. What would you do? Uh, well, uh, John Brown called up and said there's a bad hole in the road over here. People are getting hung up, so you went out there and you drained it if there was water in it, and then you hauled truckloads of stone and fixed it. And if uh, it wasn't big enough to go uh, to Frederick or somewhere to get a big truckload of stone, you just went in somebody's field and picked up some stones. And Is that right? And just did everything by hand. Did it the hard way. Right. <laughs> Well, now, were people, this was in the 20s, did a lot of people have automobiles, or were they mostly horse and buggy as yeah, well? Horse and buggy and wagons, yes. I remember when my father bought his first automobile, Model T Ford. Is that right? Did you learn to drive it? No, I didn't. But the, uh, Leola did, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. She had two, three sisters drove cars. You I never did learn to drive? I never did drive a car. <laughs> Did you drive a horse and buggy? Did you no, I was scared of the car. <laughs> and my oldest sister used to drive a horse and buggy. She used to take us all the lessons. Yeah, well, no, Miss Ford Scott didn't yeah. mm -hmm. drive up there. No, I, I never Did you ride a horse 
As a little girl or as a young girl? Well, we used to once in a while get on those war calls and uh -huh. ride in by all the scared them. <laughs> <laughs> but when you went shopping, like as a girl, uh, did you go to Ellicott City to no. go shopping? And you would go by automobile or would your father drive a team? Uh, well, when the automobile you you used to do a lot of your shopping. Go, you used to go with Mrs. John Oglock, would run the grocery store, and she'd go down shopping. She'd stop by. Come on, girls, go for a ride. And yeah, the, but, uh, our groceries we bought at the old mill store down Yeah. Right. Then we, we the first oh yeah, yeah. You bought your groceries. Now, when when you would buy your clothes or your shoes, you went in the city. And then where would they would send it through the mail? Yeah. Even then? Mm -hmm. And deliver it? Well, we went to Oak City. I can't remember. I guess we drove in the beginning when we went there. We yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, right. Yeah. Did you ever go into Baltimore to go shopping? No, not till after I got married. Then would you go in shopping to Baltimore? She would. She'd take streetcar in, not oh. me. Streetcar. I'm not a shopper. <laughs> then you would take the streetcar uh -huh. in rather than the train. You never took the train into Baltimore? No, no, no. The no. only time we took, I took the train was uh, one time we went to Alberta. I had some relatives and Papa took us to Alberta City, I believe, and we took the train to Alberta. And they worked in the mill over in Alberton, your relatives? Yeah, it was Alberton Mills then. Right. Uh -huh. Were they cousins or? They were cousins of my, of my mother. Of your mother's. What was their name? Do you know the last name? Short. Short. Okay. Russell Short. Do you, uh, um, do you remember, like, the name Hilton, the community? or anything called Helltown over there? Hilton. Hilton. H-I-L-T-O-N. Or oh, Helltown. Between, between uh, Montgomery Road and Ellicott City. No, I don't know. How about the house, you know the house that Hartcost put the candles in the window yeah, over there? Yeah, yeah. When you were, when, you know, when other people had it before the Hartcost, what was it? Just a home? Just a home. Was it always fixed up nice, or did it get to be kind of run down? Do you remember? No, it was always very, very neat and very nice taken care of. Mr. Ed Clark lived there for yes. a long time. Yeah. And then, uh, now that Was that E.T. Clark's father? Yes, ma'am. Okay. E.T.'s father. Uh-huh. Okay. Then, uh, Mr. Harry Paulett and his family moved there for a while. Um, Frank Paulett and Harry and... Okay, now, there's Mary Parlett is still in Ellicott City. Uh, there's a Mary Parlett that lives up on Church Road. Yeah, Do uh, Mary Dorsey. She was a Dorsey. Right. Now, was she married to one of these Parlettes that you're talking yes, about? Yes, ma'am. She was married to Harry. To Harry. Mm -hmm. So she lived there in that stone house? No, she never lived there. After he got married, they went up. They, I don't think they ever moved. It was one time when they moved up on Church Road. Up to there. Uh-huh. I wondered the other day if she was still living. She's. I think she is. She's got. She was uh, all crippled up last time I saw her. Hands all bent up with arthritis. I haven't heard that she isn't living. Uh -huh. So I think she. But I don't know if she's still in that house. Yeah. Now she was raised when we lived in Oakland. See, we was right in the fork of the road of Columbia Pike and the old Oakland Road. Mm -hmm. uh, Oakland Mills Road went back. They called it. And she was raised back there, what was Sewell's farm, where Sewell's peach orchard. Oh, that, she was. That's her home place. Well, that's right. She's a Dorsey. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Uh, well, when you lived in Oakland, what was in Oakland Manor? It was falling down. Oh, it was? Yes, ma'am. Nobody lived there? They, uh, for a while, for years, it was empty. And then, uh... A man by the name of A. H. Ryan come out here from Washington in Depression times and bought uh, the I don't know how many acres of ground one thousand two thousand acres of ground and the manor uh -huh. bought the whole works and then he started to hire and help and cleaning it up and started to rebuilding the house 
there was, I, as near as I remember now, I think there was about 14 fireplaces, marble fireplaces in that house. They and they, yeah. they, the people that pulled them out, stole them, and robbed them, and oh. the, oh, they were which way. So I don't know what he'd ever put in the place of them. But, there was uh, a story that that when they redid the White House or something, that he got some of the fireplaces from there, some, yeah, some of the I mantles. Yeah, is that right? That's Could what be. one of the stories goes. Yeah. Uh, Barrel of money. He just had the money to fix up. He went. He, he, he says that he and two other fellows went to Florida and bought a whole lot of property and said none of us had any money. And he said it went up and went up and went up and it says it got up to the point where I said to him one day, it's time for us to sell. And he says they said no. And uh, he says, well, I'm going to sell. So he says they bought me out. And he says they're broke and I got the money. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to know the right time. He hasn't said anything bad. <laughs> haven't, haven't yet. No. <laughs> maybe Ludell and Elwood haven't heard all these stories. <laughs> Thought maybe someday they'd like to hear yeah, it too, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then... Back there uh, where Oakland, there was a house called Bleak House. Um, another stone house. Um, one of them, Mr. Gaither at one time lived in... in um, in Oakland, I mean, back in the Civil War time. And then there was another big stone house back there. And I wondered if you ever remember There that. was two or three stone houses farther back, but and they've, they've all been rebuilt and people live in them. Right, now they were down near the barn. Down near the barn, yeah. yes ma'am, back was, in spring. Right, this was um, not near, you know, those working buildings. Um, this was a stone house which They've, they've left only the ruins of it there on Rain Dream Hill. And, uh, but it was a big stone house and, and nobody seems to know much about it. Uh -huh. And I just wondered whether you remembered. Uh, I, uh, I, I think, I guess I know what house you're talking about, but, uh, but, but they, that they had let them go down, there wasn't even a roof on them. Right. That was gone intact. But he rebuilt every one of them. Oh, did he? Had them all fixed up. And then they built a big tool shed out in front of them there on the edge of a field. Well, did he uh, farm then, eventually? He or? called himself farming, but he, he was uh, he was screwball. I mean, he didn't uh, know what, if he said, I, I decide today I'm going to dig a hole out there, he wanted dug today. He didn't want it tomorrow. Is that <laughs> right? And he could pay to have it done. He could huh? pay to have it done, yes. And do you remember when the Supreme Court Justice bought? Yeah, you know, Vanda Vanda. Right. My brother. And her sister, who married her sister, worked for him, was farm manager for him. Oh, I see. Yeah. And now, was that a summer place for the for the Chief Justice? No, um, they stayed out there most all the time. Oh, did they? they li and they lived in the little house that Ballias used to live in. Is People that? The name of Ballia. And the house that your brother... They built him a new in. house. Um, and is that still there? That's, that's still there. It was last time I was over there. And it was right next to the... If you went in, wait a minute now. You you went in, go down to the south entrance and go in, and go right on up the hill, and it was on the left hand side. The little house that Mr. Van Van lived in uh -huh. was on the left hand side, and then right in the back of that is a two story house that they built for my brother. I see. And then on the right hand side, there's a big barn there they built there, and I I don't know they have signs painted all on the side of it or something other like it's a circus or something other. I don't know what I it think is. it maybe that's used for the Meriwether Pavilion. Is that, that what, that's that's the word I was trying to think of. Right. Yes. Um what did your brother do for Mr. Van Bennett? Did he, he run the farm? Run the farm. Okay. He, they raised homes and uh, they he tended to the plow having the plowing done and the mowing and the grass and Hay, make hay, and everything, corn crop. How many acres did they farm? I did know. Did that? Did they buy that from Ryan? No, ma'am. They bought that from. Uh, wait a minute now. Value didn't own it anymore. Uh, value. Huh? Value. No, Value didn't own it anymore. They bought it from uh, sawmill man. What was Jarvis? Thomas Jarvis. Thomas Jarvis, he come in and, and, and uh, 
and uh, bought it and cut all timber off of it. And then. Wait a minute. Mr. Jarvis bought it from him, didn't he? Little Dowdy is trying to, to work with him. That's right, yeah, yeah. He can't your store, I'll be. <laughs> Mr. Jarvis bought it and cut, cut the timber off of it. I don't know, maybe maybe I am backward on that. But Mr. Jarvis, uh, uh, he owned it for a while, Thomas Jarvis, who was a timber man. And when he owned it, he cut all anything off of it was big enough to look like a log, he cut it off. And so, where was his sawmill? Uh, he hauled it to, uh, West Virginia? to, uh, no, down, down, you should go down Monroe Street, out next to the waterfront there, somewhere else. That's in where Baltimore. he hauled it, um, in Baltimore. You said that you were born in Fulton. Yes, ma'am. And is that where your father was born, or? My father, where was he? I guess he was born in Fulton. And like your grandfather, who came over from the old country? Was it your grandfather? Simpson. Simpson. Somebody by the name of Simpson. Simpson Wallach? No, you mean, no. His name was Simpson. And my my uh, grandfather married a Simpson. Oh, I see. And uh, but Simpsons, what they they couldn't speak English. Some of the first ones they were. Were uh, they German? Uh, Simpson. I, I or? don't know what the word. Tell you the truth. Well, Wallach is that German? That's. I guess Irish Dutch, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gore's Irish, but I guess Wallach is Irish Dutch. <laughs> so you don't know whether your grandfather came over from Europe? The Wallach, when the Wallachs came over. No, no, I, I do not know. Did you know your grandfather? I knew my grandfather. Now, did he speak English without yeah, an accent? Yeah, yeah. So he was born. He here. was a great, big, heavy set man, short and big around. Was he a farmer? He was farmer. In Fulton. Yeah, in Fulton, right right on the corner of John Hopkins Road and Pendle School Road. And, he, and uh, then your father left there and came and come over here. When he got married. Yes, ma'am. Well no, he was he worked there about a year or so on the farm. And then lived in the tenant house. Uh-huh. On the Kaler farm. Pardon? On the Kaler farm? No, no, over the Fulton, over that farm. Oh, I see. That, yeah. Your father lived over there. Lived over there, yeah, mm -hmm. when he first got married. Uh huh. And, yeah. Uh, and then what happened to the Wallach farm over there? Uh, that was sold to people by the name of, after my grandfather died, that was sold to the people by the name of Souther. Oh. S O U D E R, I think it's called. Uncle Sister. Uncle Sister didn't buy it. Uncle Cecil never bought it. Uncle Cecil was farming it for Grandpa. Uncle Cecil married my grandfather's sister. Was that Cecil Simpson? No, or no, Sim but he's getting close. Okay. <laughs> he married your father's sister. My fa yeah, he married my father's sister, Aunt Rosie. Yeah. Was Cecil his first name? Uh, no, his last name was Cecil. Cecil. Milton Cecil. Okay. Milton Cecil. Now, he, okay. he married Rosalie Wallet. But after, after my grandfather died, he didn't buy it. He he moved out. Because there is there was a man I met by the name of Cecil Simpson. Yeah, well, he's over in Gatesburg home now. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. How about his sister that he lived with? She's passed away. Did she? Yeah. They lived over on um, the Cherry uh, that nursery. Paul Shop Road back yes. then. Yeah. Simpson Simpson Road, I think they call it now. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, she's the lady who told me about the house down here burning when she was a baby. Is that right? Yeah. So you, you were related to a Simpson? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Your, your I don't grandmother remember, I, was a Simpson? or My... Wait a minute now. Phyllis Simpson and Phyllis Simpson's mother. It's too far back. I, I've lost track. I don't <laughs> okay. want to tell you something isn't true. Okay. But uh, but they uh, but uh, always uh, uh, Billy Simpson was Cecil Simpson's father. I see. And I always call, uh, he was always called by our family cousin Billy Simpson. Now why I don't know. Well, oftentimes people I just did. Cousins, cousin, I guess what? Uh, so I say somewhere is a bit in there. Yeah. Now Cecil Simpson, you say, is in the home in Gaithersburg. Gaithersburg. And uh, is he, was he a bachelor? Did no, he ever marry? bachelor had been married three times. Oh, he was. Oh, okay. 
But he yeah. was living with his sister. I guess yeah, that's why I that's thought right. maybe. Yeah, his last, his wife, last wife who got married, that didn't pan out. They separated. So, but Miss Simpson never married. Ms. No, Lawrence she never was married, no. Right, okay. Because no. ah. Sissel is an old county name, too. Oh, yeah. The last name of Sissel. That's right. Yeah. And he got that from another member of the family, you know, the Sissel as his first name. That's right, yeah. That's uh -huh. unusual. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah. I don't want to wear you out and you're going to... You don't me, I, <laughs> but, I like to sit down and hash over these things. Well, I, I think it's interesting to, uh, to talk about them and to... Uh, now, when you worked on the roads, you talked about being out at Long Corner. Yeah. Uh, you would go out just wherever there was a problem? And wherever there was a problem. That's and way out. Was in Long at Long Corner, <laughs> wherever that was, yes. And wherever, wherever, in the spring of the year, you had a big road grader that you went along and opened up all the ditches like with, uh, of course, uh, with the mud roads, they got filled come up. along and the mud got splashed out and they got filled up, so you pulled that back up in the road and then you leveled it down and dragged it down and got it smooth. And you, you had fun to do with what, what money we had to spend and what help we had and what equipment we had then. Right, now did you, when, when you went out to these roads, did they call, were, did most of the roads have names? Oh or yeah, every road had a name. It did. And we had to fill out a chart, what where we walked at work every day and what we did. I see, and how many would there be on a crew that you would be working Generally, with? Generally, if you were, if you was working with a, a gang and something that could be done by hand, you had six men I with see. the crew. And you, how would you travel, by these trucks? A little with a small truck. Uh -huh. You'd have a, like a pickup or a, or, or a, a little truck with a dump body on it or something, so you could, if you need a few stones, you could pick them up and haul them or something. But you started doing that when you were about 15. I started that in, in March, and I wasn't 16 until the following September. But you were driving a truck? Yes, ma'am. Were you? Mm -hmm. First job we ever did, we unloaded cinders at Delicate City and hauled them up on Cedar Lane. <laughs> oh, my. Well, now, did, um, um, when I, I wanted to ask you, um, when you went out to work on the roads, um, you were just repairing them, and yep. they were all dirt. Do you remember when the state highway started hard surfacing some of the roads? Were you still working? The, well, the, the, uh, the county started uh, resurfacing them. Uh, just about the time that my father uh, uh, left the road department. Uh -huh. And uh, then they got to uh, hauling gravel, which was down on what was known as Marsh Haslop's gravel pit, down on the Washington Boulevard. And, uh, and it's where they mix blacktop now down there, mm -hmm. just before you get down 32, going down Route 1. Okay. And, uh, well, we started there uh, hauling gravel from there when you couldn't get a truck off the boulevard. It was that close to the road and we just kept working way back in there. And there was a lot of good sandy gravel in there and you take them out and put them in with that mud and work, work them in. And when you got where you had pretty much all gravel, then you put a coat of tar on it. Oh, I see. And uh, if you tarred it down and rolled it good and tight, it would stay there unless you had too rough a winter. Uh -huh. If you had too rough a winter, it would freeze with razor. Were those just special roads that you did that? Well, we did the main roads the first, main. some of the main roads. Like first. the Columbia Road, or uh, was that a state road? No, that was state road. Matter of fact, the county did tar the Columbia Road before it was taken over by, right. by 29, before the state took it over. Did people ha that lived near the roads, did they have to pay for the work on there? No, ma'am. No, it was no, all... No, your taxes paid. Your taxes um, paid for that. Uh, do you, when your time, do you remember that there used to be paupers and there would be people that the county paid for? I have heard them talk of that, but I never experienced any of that. That was maybe before your time. I, right in the present time, I thought I was going to be in line. <laughs> <laughs> probably during the Depression, there were probably some times when You're you thought right. you would be, I'll tell you. Uh, I, I asked a lady down here the other night. Well, you, you, when you when you go into dinner, you know you you go in and you pick up a tray and your knife and fork and spoon and so forth and go up the line and then you tell her what you want and the, the girls in the back of the counter they they serve you and uh, 
They just said the other night, this is one thing I hate about this. I don't like this standing in line. Uh -huh. uh, I said, lady, have you ever been in a bread line before? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, if you can't carry your tray, is there somebody to carry it for you? For you? Yeah. Because I would think a lot of people would have Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people who can't carry it. Mm -hmm. Not like me. Now, she can't go up the line or nothing. She can't walk. I go up the line and get her tray filled and mine at the same time. And then somebody, and then somebody picks her tray up and takes it and I carry them on. This is nice out here. It it's is very um, nice, yes. Um, did you come here because it was back in your old area or because it was... No, we just come here because we were looking for some place to go. It, it got where it was too much. She got where she couldn't see the cook and she couldn't see the turn stove on. And, uh, at Chatham Gardens. Yeah, at Chatham you Gardens, there. yes. I liked it there. Uh -huh. It was. Uh, you could walk. Uh, walk right straight outdoors and be on the ground and here I'm up in the air, but they didn't have any places down there that they could cut the door cut way through down. and make it like this. And then he had to go to the store and all. He wasn't able to go to the store. He was telling it all on me. <laughs> well, that's true. I had to go to the store and I had to do it with vacuum and I did a lot of things. I didn't do any dust and I won't dust. Now, do they have somebody that cleans here for you? Once a week. Once a week. Well, that's They awesome. give it a hit and a miss. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can dust your own if you don't like it, right? Dust your own. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, how long, uh, you, when did you move from Oakland Mills then? When we, did you? We moved from Oakland Mills. I know. We, we moved there and uh, we got married in 25. You moved in 20, I mean, you moved we to 19 years we lived in. We lived in Oakland Mills 19, 19 years. years. So about 1945 or so then. Somewhere in there, yeah. Is that when you moved to Ellicott City? Yeah. And you lived there then, what, 30 something years? Mm -hmm. We lived in the Brown Shingle House. Uh -huh. Six, what, six, seven years. And then we moved, then we, we moved okay. then we built the bridge. See, I had, I had a lot of ground, but the ground was in the back. Oh, and uh, I just had to mow it and keep it. I was grew up in the bushes. And I was out there mowing one day, and I stopped, and I come in, and I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell this house and build me a house over there. And she said, I know you're going crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to do that, huh? <laughs> uh, and that's what I did do, too. Back there off Woodrow. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, Frank, Franklin Baker lives in the Brown Shingle House where, where we, when we moved to Ellicott City, that I bought and moved in. Franklin Baker works for the post department. Oscar Baker's. That's a different. Son. That's not H.J.'s brother. No, no. It's another no. Frank, another, Franklin another Baker. Baker. Oh, okay. Yeah, another <laughs> little, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so you're related to a lot of people in Howard County. You, uh, you have a lot of relatives, oh, yeah, cousins, yes. and, and whatever oh, because yeah. of. Uh, Get a note, yeah, man. Uh, you don't have many cousins. You only have one. No, I don't have His many cousins. His brother only had one brother. And he moved. He never had any children. No. How many brothers did you have? Brothers and sisters. I got uh, one, two, three, four. I got three brothers. Three brothers. Four boys. And. and uh, Nine children, yeah. Oh, is that right? There uh -huh. were nine. Yeah. Two of them are dead, though. Uh huh. But did they all have families? So they've uh, uh, they've all got families, yeah. So you've got nieces and nephews. And you know they're all living. Isn't that marvelous? Except one sister. I got one sister down Prince Frederick. Your sister died about three or four years ago. She she died of cancer. Good, strong, healthy family. I just yeah. saw Patsy up at um. Ludell's daughter up at the St. John's yesterday. You did? She had sunglasses on. I didn't recognize her. <laughs> yeah. And then she pushed them up and I, because mm -hmm. I don't see her that I guess often. that answered Mom's question. Mom been wondering whether they went to Ocean City or not. Oh, she, I think it was um, Saturday. Oh, yes, it was Saturday. Uh-huh. So she had the two girls. Uh, she had two daughters. Yeah. Uh -huh. They were in the car. Yeah. So I don't think they went to Ocean City <laughs> unless they went after that. Uh, Do you know Ludell too? Yes, I went to the church oh, with Ludell and H.J. Uh -huh. Right. And I had Jonesy in my Sunday school class. Yeah. Uh, he was a teenager when I, um, when we moved out here in the 60s. 
and I, he was always a favorite of mine, uh, Jonesy, because he was so, so much fun, such a nice, he's a, he's young nice man. Boy. He is. Yeah. I uh, enjoy he's him. He's uh, kind of a, kind of, I guess you'd say, a little peculiar duck. He. Uh, He's very artistic. You never, very you never talented. know, you never know what he's going coming up with next. <laughs> yeah. so he's just very creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, he's lost his hair so he young. Has. Oh, yeah. So young. Yes, yeah. right. He's he so had young. pretty hair and went to school. Well, it's just hereditary. H. J. Uh -huh. You know, yep, he is, that's uh, right. has lost his. So, and he didn't get it from his mother's side of the family because the grandfather here right. has a nice head of hair. <laughs> You mean Liddell? Yeah. Right. Liddell never had a problem with my wife, like our girl. Okay. She does other things, has a tape nose. <laughs> and is your hair naturally curly, too? No, my Very hair. Very pretty. I never had uh, real straight hair. Uh huh. Well, he, he used to have curly hair. Yeah. He used to have waves, but right. I don't know what He worried me until all the kink left. <laughs> well, you're lucky to have that much hair left. Uh. It was too, uh, too, um, I don't have any pictures of Joe's and that picture. You don't? I thought, there's Miss Annie Whipps, the lady we was talking about, that I finally went to school with. Oh, uh-huh. And uh, there's two sisters down here, and uh, they haven't been here too long. Now, the Whips, were they running a blacksmith shop still yeah, when, right. you, that's, when you that's, lived there? Yes, ma'am. Were they still operating Yes, ma'am. The old grandpapa still lived and, and uh, run the blacksmith shop. Because there are a lot of Whips still around the county. Yes, it is, yes. I've got three albums, and I, that's our first one. I see. I two, and, and days went by. I don't know why we had to take any pictures of the house when they had the roof raised. I guess we figured we had every penny in it to buy it, and we didn't. Uh, <laughs> you didn't think about taking a picture of the house, right? <laughs> oh, oh, here's Jonesy when he was. Yeah, hey, I knew there was something in there somewhere. Yeah, I recognize it. Yeah, you got to have that. Have you always called him Jonesy? Well, well I do. I don't know what everybody I mean, was. when you, when he was a little fellow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess Jonesy. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Right. We have great grandchildren now, we have two. Those are Patsy's. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And Elwood, well, through Elwood, uh, the Elwood's got, what, just one, one child? One child, yeah. And is she married? Yes, yeah, she's um, married. Bailey. Does she have any children? No. So no. you don't have any? What no. was her first name? Debbie. Debbie, because she went to school with my oldest boy. I think she's 27. 27, Ma. Is Debbie about 27? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. She went to school. Right. My oldest boy is uh, Kenny, and uh, I remember Debbie Wallach uh -huh. in his class at St. John's Elementary School. Yeah, that's, that's right. And and um, she's been married three years. She don't have any children. Right. So it's just just through Patsy right he's, now. Uh, she's married to a dentist. Oh. And he uh, yeah. this has his office over on Road Forty in the professional building over there. And, uh, and she, uh, uh, she well, it's a hygienic, she, uh, she cleans teeth. Oh, yeah. So, Dental well, she works for another dentist, says he can't pay her enough money. <laughs> <laughs> he started work a year before he graduated. Yeah, before he graduated. That's probably a good idea yeah. anyway, you know, to uh, not be together mm -hmm. all that much. I've got pictures also of the Ellicott City flood. Oh, d uh, the one in 72? Or earlier ones. The the worst one, actually. That was in seventy two. Seventy two, yeah. Um, Do you now. have it in in another album? Yes, ma'am. Am I in your way? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Is it the red book, Mom, or the brown one? The flood. Page. I think the one on top would be the one. Be the next generation. Uh -huh. We're looking for the flood. What do you think? The flood pictures. Uh-huh. Uh, I see an icon there with... I'm not sure what the... Flood? We're looking for the flood. Flood, yeah, I... Oh. It's not it. Okay, that's not it. I'll put that back then. That's the next 
Mr. Uh, Wallach, do you remember during World War II when the prisoner of war, when the German prisoners used to work on the farms? Yes, ma'am. Do you remember that? Yes, ma'am. Did you ever, uh, were you, you weren't farming at that time? Not, no, but, no. But when I was working for the county, the county used to work, uh, the prisoners from house corrections. I used to go down there and mourn with a truck and get ten men. Oh, is that right? During, during the war when you couldn't hire help. Oh. Um, now, but like the roads, people, you didn't use the, the German prisoner of war, did you? No, ma'am. You used the prisoners from, from the house of correction. Then well, did you pay them at all? I don't know whether they did or not, I'll tell you the truth. Uh-huh. Well, they'll show this one picture. Oh. That's Patsy. And that's Patsy and my Joe. Patsy, that's Joe's and his baby. <laughs> that's Debbie and Elwood when she was married. I mean, that's uh, Charlotte Elwood when they were married. Oh, okay, now I recognize them. Right, I square dance with uh, Charlotte yeah. and Elwood. Uh -huh. Right. Oh, that's nice. I have them all in frames, and I thought we sold our home. I had no room for them. Well, these are very nice albums. Oh, what was this school group here? Oh, that's where I went to school, started the school before we bought the farm. That's the old Pendle school. Oh, we school them. Which one is you? Yeah. In the class, I hadn't changed them. Oh, <laughs> I think that's nice. Now, is the teacher there? Yes. Did you see the teacher? Miss Gillis. That's the teacher. And that's the old, well, that's his older sister that died now. She, she lives with him. This is his oldest brother? Or Or this is, oh, Yeah, we, Elwood is his name. We call yeah. him Bill. Uh, that's Elwood, his oldest sister. Mom, well, them flood pictures got to be in that album. Hmm? They're not in this one. What? The flood pictures. Flood pictures of Elwood. I know they're all over the Are they in the album or are they, are they separate or are they... Uh, no, they're all, she had them all in there. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. When, you hate, when you hate to sell your home, go on a farm and sell it. Well, I think it's got to be in that album. Were you down in the town? Uh, yes. When it's I, uh, I got down there about seven o'clock that morning, and the water was up. Up. Uh, let me get my feet on the ground here. Yeah. This is. Uh, there's Valmas. Right. The lower Valmas' lunch room. That was the second floor. That's right. Here's Main Street. Here's, mm -hmm. here's a commercial farmer's bank. Right. There's water up there. Sure was. Did you take these? No, ma'am. Some some kid got, there's um, the she, uh, she, yeah, Vardas. Some kid got up on top of the bank up there somewhere and uh -huh. took these pictures and brought them down the store to have them developed. Oh. And uh, I just got a copy oh. of them made off at the time. Mm. And this is after the water went down. That's after the water started. went down, yeah. Look at the cars. Yeah, I mean, they look all over that. It was everywhere. 
Oh, it was a mess. Enough to make you feel like getting up and walking home. This is the old stone houses down next to the railroad down there. Yeah. That's the back back end of Donut. Yeah. They had a big shed that was back here. That where railroad cars come on these. I've been washed all out and leave it away. Oh, you see there's the yeah, stone house. Uh-huh. Yeah. Here's another picture of that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If, um, if I would want to copy, say, a picture of your house from Oakland Mills or, or the Minutemen walking down the street, would you let me take those pictures? Certainly. Not today, but yeah. if I decide I would want to copy them, or maybe the group here from, see, you said this is the Pindell School. Yeah, we could, school. We mm -hmm. could make a copy of that picture and maybe identify. Do you know some of the people in here? Do you remember? You know pretty all of them, don't you? Is that right? One time I had a contest in the, in the Times a few years back. Uh-huh. And uh, I, said my, I said, that's when I could walk and do something for myself. And I sent that picture in. I named every one of them then. Is that right? Well, <laughs> this was Lee Hall. Let's see if I can get up now. And, uh... Hey, here, let's just give you the album here, and why don't you just see how many you can recognize. It's uncomfortable for you. Oh, that's okay. See, okay, I can't see anything anymore. It's hard. Yeah, I work and put all these in here so I'd have something to look at my old age. <laughs> can you remember any of them? I, I remember two or three of them. I know that was Sister Alma. I know who this is. Uh, which one was your sister? This is just the other one. Right. And this is my sister, Esther Francis. 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 And his brother, but she, she died a few years ago. Who's this? Uh, me. Hey. Oh, that's you. Well, now, your sister went over to Tyndale School? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm How -hmm. come she didn't go to Elio? She lived, or she... Oh, well, uh, that's when you were living in Fulton. No, no. Rose didn't have any children. Aunt Rose didn't have any children. She stayed there all and the time. And she raised her. Oh. She stayed over there with her. That was home to her. Yeah, that happened. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Now, was she older than you? She yes, yeah. ma'am. She was the oldest one in the family. And this was the teacher, you think? That's Miss Skelly. Teacher, yeah. She's on her little place. <laughs> well, I don't think she's living anymore anyway. Now, did she ever marry? Was she always? No, a, she never was married. She was. Now, was this all grades one through seven? Yeah. yeah. And I what grade were you in? Do you know? I can't remember. You look like you're maybe eight. Maybe. I think I must have been. Because there's a little. Frank is supposed to start in school. That, she looks like maybe a first grade. Uh -huh. But uh, this, uh, this is Queen Mercury. I can tell you who they are. Can you see it? Queen Mercury. <laughs> right no, no, I just want no. to make sure my... And no. I, uh, no. if, if that clock is right, I don't want to keep you now. You're going to be... That uh, clock is right. You have to go, up, go down at 10 minutes to five. Well, well it's just so we get out of here by 5 o'clock. Oh, okay. I don't want you to miss dinner. No, so. I won't miss dinner. Okay. Queen. That's Queen and Murphy, a lady by name. Girl. Is that her real name, Queen? Yeah. This Mars Brown, isn't it? I guess so, honey. I don't know. That's Mars Thompson. But is Miss Lee Hall down here? Lee Hall's on here somewhere. That's Lee Hall. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, are any of these no, people that's still living? That's Chris yeah. Franklin, isn't it? Is it? I don't know, honey. I thought it was Lee Hall. Lee, Lee Hall is still living. He lives over there on the whole shop. Hall shop road? Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. well, that's true, Thomas. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. She looks like you. Uh huh. That's fine. Yeah. Right. Now, is she older than you? Yeah, she was the Where's oldest she? one. Oh, okay. And uh, it's only, I'm the only one living except Hazel. Don't no. be sister. That's not this No, the one that's 18 years younger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
changing it and having that name changed. He didn't want to live on that road named after a dead man. And, and but in the meantime he died and he, he never got it, it it was dropped then it never it was You said her name was Bloom. Was she from Bloom's Corner? Uh she was from down the going down Columbia Pike. Uh you talking about Alamay Bloom. That was her grandfather yeah, the Bloom. grandfather was on the Bloom's Corner. Oh, I see. That, that was that was that was William Bloom, and uh, Harry Bloom was her father, and they lived in this stone house and part frame that uh, Jones the oh the county executive yeah county executive oh. where he lived that's where they was raised that's where she this yeah. Bloom girl mm -hmm. grew up. Did you call that Bloom's Corner there at a uh, yes, corner? Yes, ma'am. That was a that was a landmark. Anybody, everybody knew where Bloom's Corner was. But you know, did you ever did you know that it was Columbia before that that was a post office up there? No, before no. It was Bloom's Corner. No, 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 we never knew anything about Columbia. That it was, was called Columbia back a uh, hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Corner. Uh huh. But then everybody remembered it as Columbia's right? Corner. When they first started the town, the town here of Columbia, somebody called her up one day, called up and she answered the phone and said they were making a survey. Uh, they wanted to see what people thought of Columbia and what they, what their opinion was. And uh, the wife said, well, tell you the truth, at my age it don't make a bit of difference to me because I'll never live to see a house on it. <laughs> <laughs> Very optimistic. <laughs> yeah. The town's almost 20 years old. <laughs> Absolutely. And 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 running out of ground, this lame. Yeah. Well, I think they've got a new village, uh, you know, Forestville, out in Trotter Road. Yeah, Trotter Road. Yeah, that's that's That'll what they had kind of time said this week. I don't know the name of the road. I don't know. No, well, I think you did very well. Yeah. 
if I could see him on the wall, I was trying to find Lee Hall. I know he's on here. I don't know what he is too. I've heard you say he was. No, I don't think that's him. It's all the same to me. Well, I think he did very well. Um, every Did they take a picture every year or just once in a while? I can't remember. <laughs> but you have this one anyway. I have this one. I know she's standing cold over here. Super cold. I think that's super cold. Isn't that amazing how you remember something yeah, that's right. so long yeah, ago? Yeah. Um, is your wife the same age as you, or is she younger? She's year older than I. Oh, so you, you I mean, were born I, in 1903? Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. I, I made the one she dated to. Right. You can't interrupt me. Uh, oh. <laughs> My birthday, the 14th of September, is the 11th. 11th of September? I'm as old as she is for three days. Three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm going to leave you because you probably want to wash your hands and you're ready to go down for dinner. But I've really enjoyed talking with you. See what they did. They, uh, they took a line down there now that they put so many in his side and, and so many in his back. I do. And um, then twenty minutes after, up, up until six o'clock. Let's see if this one goes in. They, they don't. They don't fit quite. No, they oh, don't. Okay. Okay, I didn't want to put them in wrong. Is the food pretty good? Some days yes, and some days no. You probably get tired of it, don't you? Uh, yeah. You think that it's the the like worst it? the worst thing with it, in it all the way through is that. Uh, there's no seasoning in nothing. They don't season anything. Because there are a lot of people who... Well, there's a lot of people can't can't eat seasoned food. Do they put any seasoning on the table for you? Uh, oh, yeah. They have, uh, so you could.